Hello and welcome to part two. Now, if you've not seen part one, uh, please go and click on the card I'm going to put in the top right um, and go and watch part one and then come back at the end of that one and watch part two. So, we're now, I've now kind of gone away and uh, put the suit on, a Rococo suit, and gone through the motions of what I think the scene's going to, um, what I'm going to be doing within the scene. So this is one of the clips um, where I've come out the lift, the character's coming out the lift with a torch, obviously I don't have any um, hand uh, gloves, so the hands will have to be uh, positioned in iClone. I'm just walking out uh, with a torch, looking around the car park. I've got a load of clips, and I'm just running through a couple of scenarios of um, looking and hearing sounds in the dark and putting the torch up. And with again same kind of scenario okay so this one is me running towards the lift trying to get the lift open before the creature gets me or the dark i'm not sure yet so i'm thinking the lights will go off one by one and um they're basically chasing the character So that's our Rococo. So, so our uh, horror creature is this guy, this lovely guy with the teeth in his head, his split head. I bought this off a website called CG Trader. I remember now, and it came in, and I tried to do um, the uh, auto rig. But that didn't work so I had to go through and assign all the bones manually which you can do in character creator 4 uh, because I wanted to keep this um, bone here between the head so I can open and shut the head um, which looks really gruesome um, and that's our creature that will be kind of creeping around in the dark um, so done all that we've got our we've got our uh creature and then we can we bring it all into iclone 8 and this is our main character the one that i'll be creeping around in the dark and that's our creature in the background we don't need him just yet so we've taken our mocap information We've applied it to our character and put a torch in her hand. And here we go, we'll place a bit of the clip. So the way I see it is you plan it out in your head, you know roughly where everything is, and you can basically run through the scene. Now it's not all going to work perfectly but that's where uh, your editing comes in later and you're able to um, work through it work through the scene so this will be our scene I'll just run through it quickly so I've just added all the clips in of um, the mocap um, so the, obviously the car park is quite long so we're walking through these are lots of bumps lots of scares and then the lights start turning out and she runs and then she's hitting the button to try and get in the lift at the other side of the car park okay so this is our
Let's, let's start from the beginning. So this is our raw mocap. Um, this is what we get uh, in from uh, Rokoku. So Rokoku Studio. We've exported it out and brought it into iClone. Now obviously that's the beginning of the clip where I'm just walking into position ready to do the scene. So we'll we can break that. Delete that clip. And that's where we're going to start. Okay, there's a little bit at the beginning there we've set up. So I'll break that one again. Right, so if we look at our character's position. Clearly the hands are too close to the body. So edit a motion layer. Hit the shoulders. Bring them out. Now that'll maintain that throughout the journey of the clip. There you go, brilliant. Right, and then <clears throat> we come into our animation, gesture, hold. Now I found that hold gun was a good one for this. So, and then extend these to the end of the clip but the problem we have now is the torch is facing up at the ceiling well clearly we don't want that so bring your character into a position where you can zoom in a little bit hand and reposition the torch and that will give you a position put that at the beginning and there you go you've got your torch in the right position and you can always reposition it anyway as you start bringing everything into Unreal Engine. Obviously the the face uh, is already done. I did that um, with uh, the plugin Live Link and an iPhone. So but we can still Add to that if we want to. We can use uh, face puppet if we want, and and we'll preview it. Well, that was good. Let's go back to the beginning. Hit record. And all you have to do is move your mouse around. And that'll just add to the scene. In. and that's then just recorded that face sequence
There you go. So obviously you just keep building up and building up as you go. Okay, and then um, we can go to um, Unreal Engine and see where we are now because I've, I've put some more stuff in. Okay. Okay, so um, here we are in Unreal. I've basically, before we left it last time, um, I just, I've just done the lift. So I've now kind of fitted it out, put a light over the door. Um, some, done some more detail on the inside. Uh, brought in our characters to give me kind of reference. Um, and of, of height and, um, okay, so we put some cars in our little garage and I've extended it out um, I've extended it out to put a lift at the bottom end I basically took one side duplicated it obviously that was the uh, end wall but I wanted it a lot longer to this lift on this side so as you can see, it's quite creepy. I'm going to probably use the lights as well to go on and off in the sequencer. Now, to give you a kind of an indication of what it looks like with some lights on, I'll turn the lights on. So, it doesn't look as creepy with lights on, obviously. There you go. And then, just to give you an idea of what it might look like when it's being played out. So we could probably input these doors in to sequencer. Like so. Let's get that one in as well. So we're going to pop mark there and mark there, a keyframe there, should I say. Go a little bit back a little bit. Put another keyframe on each one. Go back to this one. Open the doors. Open that door. And there you go. If you want to Mess around with the timing of the door. Just bring those back. And then you put all your sound effects in. Let's have a look at that again. Don't forget our character up to there. Let's 
we can duplicate that and then duplicate those so let's just play our sequence doors open our character walks out into the car park and the door shut obviously there's a heck of a lot more that I need to do Need to introduce his character. Get our main character into here, this section. Bumps and just gonna turn around, put a torch into the darkness. And our creepy little character will be running around in the dark. Scaring the pants off everyone, hopefully. So, yeah, so that's part two. Um, part three will be um, a look into creating a camera um putting a sequence together and then um editing it um and have a look how i actually go about um doing a story within uh, unreal and um the kind of workflow i use as i go along um should be quite interesting hope you like it thank you